look at these pretty flowers. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. So this is our hotel at the, uh, the Windsor. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, there's the bar. See, that's why it's always good to open stuff. Oh, look at that. Ooh. There's some champagne down at the bottom Ooh, there. You took in my language. Oh you my took in my language. They have a stock for a party. Oh, wow. We decided to rent a car in New Orleans with Hertz so now we are gonna go pick up our car rental um, from Hertz and it's pretty um, it's pretty warm it's about 90 degrees over here and it's crazy it's we we really need to get in the pool like get to the hotel and get in the pool but now we are here to rent our car to, to get our car rental so we're gonna go in and pick up our car. And I think Glenn is already there. So yeah, we are excited to be here in New Orleans. New Orleans. Hey, how do you guys say it? New Orleans or New Orleans? I, I prefer to say NOLA, but is it New Orleans or New Orleans? Like I know there are so many different <laughs> different way, ways of saying it, but I think I will stay with New Orleans, alright? <laughs> I'll stay with New Orleans, depending on how I feel. Alright, so I guess it's, it's kind of like a far, a far ride to just go pick up our car. So, here we go. So we got our car rental and we are going in. Bye bye guys. Enjoy your trip, have fun. This is our car rental in New Orleans. So, it's a good size for sure. It's a good size for um, a family of four. So, not bad at all. Not bad. And we actually went with Hertz. They were super fast. And we had Jasmine, that was amazing. She was very, very helpful. And she subscribed to our channel. So, hey, kudos to. Yoo-hoo! Shout out to It Hurts! And definitely shout out to Jasmine. Shout out to Jasmine. Thank you so much for all your help. You are amazing. Okay, so yeah, so it's Lexington's birthday and we are definitely excited to be here to celebrate. Um, it's a beautiful hotel. We are going to definitely be showing you guys a lot more about the hotel. But it's her birthday and she looks so pretty. Hi Lexington, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Okay, now big sister is also in the picture. Okay.
so this is the whole hotel that we have it's so beautiful look at these pretty flowers it's so pretty oh my gosh look at that so cute so pretty guys so this is our hotel the other Windsor Windsor in New Orleans is so beautiful look at that and it smells good too it smells good it is real flowers yeah and of course we have our luggage sitting here and they're gonna take upstairs in just a minute Thank you so much. Thank you. So we are walking to our room. This is the Windsor. Windsor. So Guess what our room is gonna be? We can't wait to see it. It's always exciting to be able to um, to be able to look at what room we got. So we can do a little bit of a tour in our room and let you guys see what we got. Because as you all guys all, all know, um, Glenn and I are travel agents. We own our own business, and of course we have Little Miss Travelers. So we, we get the best of both worlds. There's our bags. Woo! Oh my gosh! This is one of the biggest rooms they got. Wow! Oh my gosh, this is like huge. We love this! It's beautiful! Oh my god, it's really pretty! Let's open the balcony! Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Let's see here. Oh, oh no, we are okay. Oh my gosh, oh look at this. It's the view of the city of New Orleans. Yes, let's go. <gasps> look at the bedroom. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at the Oh my goodness! Look at that! Oh, 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 and look at this! Look at this! Oh, look at the view! Look at the view! Oh my goodness! We love it! Look at this! Amazing, guys! This is like. Not beautiful. Look at oh, let's go. Let's go in here. Oh my gosh! Look at where we can just sit and just, you know, wash mommy, our wash our hands, do our makeup. You know, now we all have our makeup. Oh my oh gosh, my. it's so pretty. Oh, there's a door. Oh, there's another the door to the living room. All right, let's turn this light on so we can see what's in here. What's in here? That's the light, I think. Yes, it is the light. This so, is this is the bathroom. Let's turn it on. Oh, it's very nice and spacious. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I am loving this. And this hotel, by the way, is the Windsor Hotel. Um, oh, look at this bathroom. It's very clean and very nice. That's how we like it. That's how we like it. Look at this. It's the Windsor Hotel hotel in New Orleans you know what I learned to say New Orleans differently when I got here New Orleans New Orleans New Orleans <laughs> but this is so gorgeous this is beautiful guys it's beautiful if you ever 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 want to stay in New Orleans please come here it's gorgeous it's gorgeous it's gorgeous your views are beautiful look at it she, it's it's so good and it's so spacious like according to the the receptionist like this is one of the the biggest rooms here and so we are so excited about this like this is this is beautiful this is precious I love it
Okay, guys, so we have Mr. Goren. Can you show us what we got? Well, I got my favorite spot. I mean, I'm a, I'm a mixologist. Yeah. So, you know, I can put something good together for my beautiful wife. Yeah, looking very nice and, and looking very great. So, there are glasses in there. Oh, yes. Uh, so, we got some wine glasses, some. Want to make a, a, a drink on the rocks or just uh, just straight? We got that. We got a got a sink here. It's and what's, beautiful, and I'm what's, sure there is. Oh, and, there's, oh the bar. there's the bar. See, that's why it's always good to open stuff. Oh, look at that. Oh, guys. They fully loaded it. Oh wow, look at this. Is that vodka over here? Oh, they got vodka. They uh -huh. got Jack Daniels. They got Grey Goose. Oh wow. Uh, beer, if you're looking for beer, some champagne down at the bottom Ooh, there. Oh, you're talking my language. Oh, you're my speaking guys, my language. They, they have a stock for a party. Oh wow. Oh yeah, look at that. It's beautiful. And, and then? Oh yeah, so we, as we walk through the, through the place, let's walk over here. Yeah. They got a nice setup for the bathroom where they kind of have a little bit of separation from the from the, from the sink to the shower. That's very nice. Yeah, so, you can, so people don't get tagged up. Yeah. We got a beautiful, a beautiful uh, shower here, looking really yeah, nice. Yeah, it clean. looks clean. That's, that's always, our favorite. That's always a plus. Clean, clean, clean. That's always a plus. And then right here we got the separate vanity. Oh. Oh, I love it. Can get all dazzled. Oh, dazzle, dazzle. Take her, take her out or something. Do something nice for of her. Of course. Dazzle, uh, dazzle. Yeah. So that's what this is right here. Okay. And what's in here? Oh. oh. Just uh, got a closet. Uh, standard. Of course, Very you're, standard you're safe to hoard all your all your money. Yeah. All your gold. All your gold. I mean, I walk with gold. Yeah, I walk right? with gold. <laughs> I was all I wish. <laughs> ah, I wish. Oh, look at it. Yeah, so we got a two uh, double set beds here. So, uh, you know, very, very, very beautiful. So, yeah. yeah, beautiful. And the city view, it's impeccable. The city view is gorgeous. Look at this. Look at the city of New Orleans. It's beautiful. And we are actually on the 17th floor at the Windsor Hotel. 17th floor at the Windsor Hotel. So that is gorgeous. That is beautiful. Of course, everywhere you go, you have chairs, you have everything. And look at the girls. The girls. The girls. And of course, we can sit over here and the city view again. And we can sit over here. It's a, it's a pretty good size. We love this. We love it. We love it. So we're going to change and get ready to definitely go and have a great time. Start our week of entertainment and our week of luxury and fun okay luxury and fun so we got more hotels that we're going to be going to and we're going to let you guys know how it goes and what's you know what every one of them has so that we know we we get the information and we share with with you guys of course little miss, miss travelers will share with you and um in style travel llc for mr g and i we will also share with you so definitely i think it works out perfect I mean, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's a it's a huge premium suite. It's a huge premium suite at the Windsor. And if any of you want to go there, you let me know, and we can book it for you. We can book it, book it, book it anytime you want. All you gotta do is let us know. Let us know. All right. This is Little Miss Travelers and Insta Travel LLC. I think the kids want to probably go. Bye, Lord.
going somewhere and I love it. Hey guys. And guys, the place we're going is Gumbo. At least I think that's where we're going. All right, so we are gonna go out and get something to eat. And <coughs> we are All right, so guys, this is the lobby of this hotel, and this is so pretty. The lobby of the hotel, it looks like somebody's living room, right? All this side, you can sit here and eat. It's very elegant. It's really pretty. It has all this wood and chairs and couches, which is like really like antiquish looking but it looks so good like it's so good um, the girls are running around because we are about to go get something to eat right now this afternoon when we came in they were playing the piano it just felt like uh, like a Titanic movie pretty much <laughs> like you know for lack of a better descri description it felt really good it felt like very elegant and very uh, so we are gonna go. The lady just recommended we go to this restaurant called Mother's. Now, if, if it's really good, I will come back and we will let you guys know. It's called Mother's. And Mother's is known for their um, traditional um, New, New Orleans food and traditional um, traditional everything so creole food like they have gumbo she said they have gumbo they have gumbo they have catfish they have um, um all these traditional stuff so we're gonna go go there and make sure that we are uh, when we get there we will let you guys know what's up and how everything is but she said it's really famous and people swear by that so guys are you guys ready to go to mothers all right Let's go! So we, I think we're gonna wait until some people get on. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And some people get on first, so you guys can keep chit chatting a little bit for some people to get. On. Oh, I see somebody on already. Oh my early. god, I see somebody on already. Let me just let everybody know we are on here. Mm -hmm. We are on. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi. You guys, you guys want to start chit chatting with them a little bit? Yes. So what do we chit chat about? Um. Do you have <laughs> Do you have any questions, anyone about us? <laughs> you yeah. have any questions right now? We have nothing to talk about. Nothing. Oh well, we do. No, we, we got do. lots to talk. We got about. lots to talk about. Well, today. that's a video. chit chat. That's yeah. chit chat. Right? That's <laughs> more the big video. Wow. <laughs> oh, uh, Okay, so I think it's six oh five. We're gonna so go we couple. are gonna go give it a couple, a couple more minutes. A couple more minutes, minutes but it's, it's fine. It's fine. 
Oh, okay, well. <laughs> it's live and everybody's like, okay, give it a couple. No, we we are gonna start start right now. We're gonna start. Yes, we're gonna start. And and then there's a couple more people gonna come in next. A couple more people you think are gonna are gonna come what? on here? How many minutes? How many people are gonna come? Um, I am gonna sit on here and check on here and see. Okay, so I think we're gonna start right now. So Brooklyn, you can go ahead and get started. Started with what? The videos. Wait, do we chit chat? No, we are getting started right now. So oh. we're going to get started. Hi, guys. Hi, 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 hi Lucy. And nurses. This is Little Miss Traveler. <laughs> Right. Let's get going. So, Nurses Week starts from May 6th to May 12th. So we are going to talk about some things you should say to nurses and some things you should never say to nurses. So we are going to talk about, first we're going to talk about the stuff you should say to nurses. Number one, love them, hug them, support them, and celebrate them. And most important. Importantly, well, respect them. All right, respect nurses. Yes, I totally yes, agree, agree to that. They, that's much more needed. So happy Nurses Week, guys. Happy Nurses, happy nurses week. week. And during our retreat, we happened to meet some amazing, amazing nurses this uh -huh. past week. Right, yeah. guys? Yeah. Were they, were they nice to you guys? You yes. Wanna talk, you want to talk about that? Yes. They're yeah. awesome. More than awesome. I don't know the word that more than awesome, but they're great. They are great. Awesome, 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 awesome. Brooklyn, what did you think about everybody you met? You met? Oh, they were amazing and totally nice. Yes, nurses are nice. Get that, okay? Mm -hmm. And listen to what would you want to say about the they nurses? They were very, very nice and great, guys. They're like the best. The best. Okay. Yes, they okay. Were. And we have some amazing, amazing. So we are going to have the girls share what not to tell a nurse. Okay. So there are certain things when you go to the hospital, you see a nurse, they just discuss about hugging a nurse, loving a nurse, supporting a nurse. There are some certain things you don't want to say to a nurse, right? Never. Seven things. Not. There are certain things you don't want to say to a nurse, right? Uh -huh. Okay. So what are the things? So number one, never say... You're just a nurse. I need a doctor. No. Never say that because that's rude. And doctors and nurse work together. Teamwork makes the dream. That's right. Woo -hoo! Okay. I love it. Teamwork. Number two. Number two. I will suit this place when I get out of here. So never say I will sue this place when I get out of here. Yes. And number three, I'll, I'll okay. I don't even want to be here. Never don't want to be here because the nurses are trying to help you, right? Yeah. 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 And, and number four, never say I know more than more nursing than you because I watched it on television or the internet. Oh, don't compare your internet lessons to a nurse's knowledge because the nurse has been to school mm -hmm. and a nurse nursing has more school. knowledge, right? Yeah. So if you go to the, on the internet, you don't want to go back and compare to the, with the nurse and say, hey, by the way, I saw it on the internet. And, you know, so, hey, respect the nurses. Respect, respect the them. nurses. Yes. Respect. respect. Yeah. The, most yes. important the most important thing is respect the nurses. Okay, so. Now we're gonna be. Do we have some some shout outs? For, yeah, yes, yes. Okay. We have a lot. Okay. Of shout outs. Okay. So uh -huh. who do you want to start with? We are going to start with our, our auntie Joyce and, and auntie, auntie Vida. Vida. Yeah. yeah. Auntie shout Joyce and auntie, auntie Vida. Hey y'all. We appreciate you for your nursing skills and everything you guys do. And do we have certain other people that we want to share share yes. with? We want to give a shout out to. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um. Yes. Um. Leticia. She's last. Um. Uh, Leticia and Maureen. Happy Nurses Week. Hi. 
Yay! Shout out. And then we have the nurses we met this week. So oh, yeah. we want to give a shout out to starting with Coach Michelle. Michelle. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Hi, Coach Michelle. Happy nurses week. And then the next one is Diane. Di Diane, happy nurses week. Happy nurses week. We want to go to Yvette. 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 Hi, Yvette. Hi, Yvette. Happy Ooh. Nurses Week. We're going to go to Sierra. Hi, Dr. Sierra. Yeah, Dr. Kamiko, Kamiko. Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. And we want to go to Dr. Latora. Hi, Dr. Latora. And we want to go to Sandra Cleveland. Hi, Sandra Cleveland. We want to go to Rashida Hatchett. Hi, Rashida Hatchett. We want to go to Victoria Ball. Hi, Victoria. We're going to go to Janet Williams. Hi, Janet Williams. Now, Nicole Lee. Hi, Nicole Lee. Sienna Ellis. Oh, no, Shana Ellis. Shana, Shana Ellis. Hi, Shana Ellis. We're going to Natasha. Hi, Natasha. Kiana. Hi, Kiana. Kiana. Dimitri. Hi, Dimitri. Robert. Hi, Robert. Dr. Amy. Hi, Dr. Amy. Tracy. Hi, Tracy. Last but not the least is the two. Auntie Latanya and Nakita V. So they are all nurses, and we appreciate you guys so much. It's Nurses Week. Like Brooklyn said, it, it ends tomorrow. So if you see a nurse, respect them, support them, love them, and Absolutely. hug them. Uh-huh. Right. So thank you guys so much for allowing us to host you guys. Absolutely. So now, if you guys have any questions, let us know about nurses. One other issue is that we have Michelle, who is a coach, for all nurse entrepreneurs. Yeah. And so yeah. whatever you need, who can help you? Michelle. Michelle. Right. So you go to talk to Michelle. We will put Michelle's link on here so that Michelle can help you out, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, girls. Hi, my girl. Hi, my girl. <laughs> all right. So we're going to transition into global entry. entry. Global entry now. Okay, so where did we go to get our global entry? We went to the Dallas Airport in, in Washington, Washington D.C. All right, Washington D.C. Wow. So when you guys got got there, what happened? We um like took our fingerprints. She took her thumbprints, and, and I took my fingerprints. And it, yeah, it counts on the A if you take your thumbprints. So she didn't take her thumbprints because she was only five. So you got to get a little older than five to get your thumbprints. Oh, so you yeah. got to get a little bit older than now. If anybody is wondering what Global Entry is, what is Global Entry? Global Entry is international and TSA for check-in is domestic. That's right. Yes. That's right. That's right. So have you guys ever been to like coming from the coming from travel and you actually see all those kiosks, international, especially international travel, and you see all those kiosks, and you think, is it for elite? Is it for ambassadors? Is it for well, princes and princesses? Well, if you thought that, you are wrong. It's for everyone. That's right. Let's see. Is it for everyone? Yes. Everyone like who? Like everyone. me. Me. Like me. Yep. Me. Yeah. Like me. Me. Yeah. Yep. Me. Yeah. So global entry is actually for everyone. So if you see those kiosks and you see people that are, you know, using them, they have already applied and gotten approved to have it. That's why they're able to use it. So it's not only for, we are special now. We are yeah. special, right? Yeah. 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 So officer, so when we got, when we apply for, for it, you get charged. How much is the fees, Lexi? Um, $100 per person. $100 per person for five years, okay? $100 per person for five years. Yes. That is yes. a no-brainer, right? No that brainer. is very, very good. 
And when you pay for global entry, you actually do get what in addition with global entry? Yeah. TSA pre check in. TSA pre check in. So $100 to get two things. So I we recommend, we live in Little Miss Travelers and our business, we recommend you get the global, global, global entry, entry because it has both. Yes. You get it, you pay your hundred dollars, you go for your interview, they interview you, and pretty much that's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And some of the things that they ask you on this interview is very easy. It's like, you know, do you have citizenship in other countries? What are you coming there for? Are you using your travel for work? or for leisure and we use ours for travel travel and, we use for, both. and both yes. yes we use it for both we use it for travel and we use it for leisure yeah. so that's amazing that's really really good now the other thing that we wanted to also share is that is it worth it guys to get global entry is it worth it yes yes why what are the benefits the benefits are you don't have to take off your shoes, your earrings, or anything out of your bag. You just just skip the, you bypass the long, 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 long line. And you don't have to take out your tablet or your phones or anything of those stuff. And you can keep them in your backpack and skip the long, long, long line. That's right. You get to skip the long, long lines, right? Mm -hmm. So that's amazing. That's really, really great. Yes, now, is. now, what I'm going to have uh, Mr. Gorin share, or Little Miss Traveler's dad to share, is that when you go for the interview and after your fingerprints are taken and you get approved, so, what happens? Yeah. So you, what what happens is you will wait for your email, and it's a uh, prior to that they will send a a pre a pre approval email and then our conditional email. And then you go on your interview. And then when you go on your interview, they will ask you again, uh, just uh, as my wife said, they will uh, ask you about if you need any, if you are traveling for business or you're traveling for pleasure. But then after that, they'll take your, your fingerprints, all of that, and then- And your picture. And your picture. <laughs> because now, before that, they changed it to yeah. facial, recognition like when they take your picture don't change your hairstyle or anything like that because if you do that you will get kicked out of global entry because they won't recognize you okay let me just come into a little bit to, to that facial recognition is gonna is what is happening now so if you got your global entry before covid you are probably going to go back there to the interview to take your picture because now it's global entry facial recognition and not just fingerprints yeah. so you can change your face you can change your hairstyle i like changing my hairstyle you guys like changing your hairstyle yeah. however if it doesn't recognize you then they will have to rely on the fingerprints yeah. right okay yeah, yeah. so did right so so after that you when you get your uh pre-approval email then you'll just wait for you to be approved. And once you get approved, you'll get you what is called a pass ID. And when you get your pass ID, you get to use that um, when you're booking your, your flights. And on the boarding pass, you will see uh, TSA pre-check. But when you're in your boarding pass making reservation, what is the word? You will have to have the known traveler ID. ID. Thank you. Yep. And that's where you'll put your pass ID in there. And from there, you're all set. Yeah. So you have to be able to see this. So as we just recently traveled and when you put that in your, when you put that number in your reservation or in buying, before buying your ticket, you see this on there. TSA pre-checking on there. You have to see this. If you don't see this, you will not be able to use it, guys. Right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Just want to present and how one card would look. It would look like that. That is how it's going to look like. He picked mine. Okay? Doesn't he picked mine. Like, doesn't it look like my mom? And actually, it, does it look like your mom? I think it looks like me. Ooh. I think it looks there like me. There you go. Global entry. Ah, that's a global entry. Okay? So that's how it, look, it looks like. This is what you're going to be using to travel internationally. But when it comes to the TSA pre checking, like Brooklyn said, it's domestic. So this, this is what you're going to be seeing. All right, guys, go ahead and put in your comments, put in some questions on there because Little Miss Travelers are ready 
for, for your, your questions. Question. Question. So if you have questions, go ahead and put them in there. We'll probably be doing some more lives, right, guys? Yes. We'll be doing some more lives, some more lives, you know, coming coming days. We want to do some more lives as well. Like so the first one. Like the first one, exactly. We'll be doing it with family and everything. So mm -hmm. go ahead and put in your questions. We'll answer them for you. And let's keep it going. Now, so G, uh, when we do global entry, the people that approve of your of your ex acceptance is going to be the customs, customs and border protection. That's what is we're going to do. So, what else are we talking about here? Um, now we have a question in here. So, do you guys enjoy traveling? Yes, yes. we love traveling. Okay, you and seeing the new places. Okay, and, and tasting new. Food. And mean new people. Okay, and what else? And doing new things. And doing new things. Now, let me just let me just say, did you have something to say, babe? No, no, I'm yeah. just go ahead. Okay. So before we do everything, let me just say the reason why they do not Lexington's hands. Look at this little girl's hands. Her hands. She got two. I mean, her fingers so tiny they could not get her fingerprints. That is correct. I, it, it's just because it's not as defined and not as deep grooves in the fingers to right. get the fingerprints. Right. And so they actually they actually took all her fingerprints except the thumbprint. Yes. So now when Lexington gets older, she her facial recognition may not be recognized because kids do change. And so they are going to take another picture and we'll probably have to take her back to global entry for her to take another picture so that they can it, it can recognize her face and brooklyn is already eight years old so brooklyn are they gonna recognize you yeah you will no no so which we, turns wait, so, wait, when, she, when i turn like, like when i grow up they might not they might not yeah recognize. if your face turns your oh. fingers are the same it looks scary scary <laughs> no <laughs> if you yeah so like if your face is the same as when you're a little kid and um your body's so long and you're different <laughs> you look like a midget you look like a midget okay now the thing is some people have facial hair and facial hair is like all like you know it can actually make you look the same or not and so facial hair is that you want to make sure that you know you are a little bit if you go in for fish with facial hair try to have facial hair yes because you probably be called in the office all the time. Now, what what did Officer West tell you guys? He told us that if don't like bring something from a trip, um, uh, don't bring something else from a trip if your parents don't know about it. Yes, like you want you bring the sea star, a starfish, a starfish from the sea that looks so beautiful and it. It's your color, and then um, you put it in a bucket with some water and sand so it can be in some seashells. And then you didn't, you forgot to put the cover on and left it at the beach, and then you put it in the backpack, and then it accidentally the water off, and then your backpack came all wet. Okay. Wow. So that's great because that's a good explanation because you can't take. Uh, items from other countries and yes. bring them into the U.S. Even, with, without even, declaring them. Even with them from the airline, you don't want to bring the airline food. Even they get to that point. Yeah. So they monitor global entry uh, members, I should say, very, very, very carefully because you already kind of like recognize as you are okay to go through all the the checkpoints. And so if you bring anything from the from other countries, they can actually, and you don't declare it. You can get in trouble and you can be kicked out of global entry and not be allowed to come back in and not be allowed to come that's back. Or, one time thing. That's right. And uh, or you can get fined. Oh yes. Yep. Yes. So that's one of the things that we they actually she he could not stop talking about it. He said, "You guys got to you know put your hands in the air and swear that we are going to declare every item." And declare every single thing we are bringing with us from other countries because they are not going to accept it if you do not declare every item you bring in. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So 
Are we good here? Yes. 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 All right. So, <laughs> uh, okay. So I think we are doing good here. So what would you guys want to share about Global Entry right now? Uh, no. You like so it? You go first. So, so no, okay. You go first. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Uh -huh. You should not bring anything. Okay, so that's what she got. You should not bring anything without declaring it on your vacation in Brooklyn. Um, like, what did you say? Okay, so. Like, what did you say about the thing you want to share? Did you say? Like, what you want to share with us? Just share. What else would you like to share? Yeah, what, share what else oh. would, you, would you like to share about Global Entry? Yeah. Um, that, like, um yeah like your fingerprints you know like hers is really tiny and like if you're five or under five you can't like they won't do your thumb because you are too tiny you are too tiny and your fingerprints is not well it's not well defined mm -hmm. so guys we are excited we did this live Last minute word from me is that hey, if you you asking yourself should you do global entry pre TSA check, I say yes, Thumbs go up. for it because at five hundred dollars, I mean a hundred dollars for per per person per person for five years, yes. it's a no brainer. Absolutely. Okay, and I think you should go for it. Absolutely. So that being said, we are we were very very happy to be here once again. Absolutely. Happy Nurses Week. <laughs> Appreciate you all. Appreciate you all that were on here. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was good being here. We will start doing some more lives because we love these lives. Yeah. We love them because we know y'all like them too, right, girl? Yeah. So we're gonna be saying happy happy nurse this week. Happy nurse this week. Happy nurse this week. Thank you all for Be being here. Time. We appreciate you all. Put your questions in the comments and be and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, share, share like, and, and give it a thumbs up. up. Comment, Comment and, and be LMT. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye. Bye. Was it just? It's baked fresh. Oh, so that mac and cheese. Uh, next ah, my kids love good mac and cheese. Mmm, now it's so stretchy. Captain Michael, I'm doing okay. How are you? <laughs> of course, hand sanitizer for the girls, too. Yeah, and of course, my temperature will be checked before we go on a boat. And Brooklyn's temperature is gonna get checked. So there's all these protocols that you have to go through before you go anywhere, and these. These guys here, they don't let you pass, okay? <laughs> you can't slide. There's nothing you can slide on, okay? You, you have to. It's a must do. You have to do it. All right? It's kind of drizzling a little bit. Um, usually in the, in the Caribbean, sometimes, you know, during this time, it kind of like rains a little bit. Hey, guys. Um, it drizzles a little bit, so you're gonna go on a boat. It's still okay, but it's just all right. So we are gonna go. We are gonna go right now, and we'll talk to you guys later. Peace, guys. Right now we are walking to the boat. Line. Yes. How did you
Okay. Hey guys, so we are going on the boat. Um, we have a, 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 a we have a catamaran, right? So, uh, Carissa, how are, is it gonna go? Okay. It's gonna be awesome. You're gonna have amazing views of the coastline from the waters, and you get to stop off for stopping as well if you wish. Okay. We're gonna have some good, some good. All right. We're gonna see the pitons as well. So oh, the pitons! Some must see when you're in Tennessee. Yay! So, what is in that package? So, we have some California rolls, we have some shrimp rolls, and of course, some fries for the kids. Never forget the kids. Yay! <laughs> we excited! Ah. <laughs> faster right now and that's fun uh, we have sodas and we have a little bit of snacks on there so yep yep that's it so we are in the Caribbean Sea yep 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 look at the, the rocks wow. look at the rocks over here guys oh wow. look at that Also, because the land um, activities Whoa. are actually um, St. Lucia doesn't allow tourists to mingle with the locals um, to do like land tours just for the sake that we don't catch anything before we go back to our country. So they have put a pause on the land activities. So that's why the water activities are the ones that we can do. So this is where we are. Boy can snorkel. Snorkel. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'll jump in. You jump in. We'll see. In we'll see. the future. the boat and so the girls are we don't we don't give them sprite when we are home but when we are on vacations they are more than welcome to do any drink they want have any drink they want as long as it's not alcohol <laughs> so they are allowed to have sprite how does it taste it's good well that's why we don't let you have it <laughs> Thank you, and I got my rum punch. You cannot come 
to St. Lucia and not have a rum punch. Baby, cheers. Cheers, guys, cheers. Cheer you like it? Cheers. Gotta, it's a must see, okay? Must see. It's amazing. The girls are tired and sleeping, so mommy gets a little break. <laughs> so um, we are super, super, super happy to do this water taxi because it's really good. It um, it's just shows you a lot that solution has to offer. Hi. So we are at the tree house, okay? Now when you think about a tree house, I mean I'm thinking like back in the day, like you know, Princess's Day and all that, but we have a tree house. Look at this. We are actually diving in a tree house, babes. Tree house, okay, it's in the jungle. Now you have all of these like crazy animals and you think about it, but it's a private place that they set up so that you can have your dinner with your family and it's just for you guys 
So the chef is going to prepare the food and bring it to us, okay? They have customized food for you and they get it to bring it to you. And so for me, it's so exciting that they customize your food. You get to go to the tree house and enjoy it without being at the pool because, you know, we are at the pool sometimes. We are at the ocean. We are at the beach. Today is a tree house. Isn't that exciting? I am super, super excited. Mm -hmm. But our friend Dave, who is our butler for tonight and our server, is actually going to be making us some rum punch. You cannot go to St. Lucia and not drink the famous rum punch. It's called rhyme, rhyme punch. Okay, like rhyming. It's called rhyme punch. So you can come here and not drink this punch. So I will let you guys know how it tastes like so that when wh whoever wants to come, do so. But please try this drink, okay? And I'll show you a little bit of our food later. But I'm super excited for this fanciness. Oh, I can't wait. It's exciting. And if you want to do some photos? Yes. Follow the rhyme. You should be here. Cheers. Absolutely. Cheers, guys. Cheers. This is nice, y'all. This, this is unique. Unique in itself. Unique? Oh, yeah, I ain't taste nothing like this before. Now, now, let me see what mine tastes like. Mmm. Yeah. Touch this, okay? Because it just, it's baked fresh. Oh! So just be careful. It's okay. really hot, okay? Look at that mac and cheese. Let's see. Ah! My kids love good mac and cheese. <laughs> This one right here. Let me let me bring her chair a little closer. She needs to get into this. Mmm, that looks so stretchy. Okay. Hey. Hi, Mr. Hi. Hi. I have some cheesy, cheesy mac and cheese. Mm hmm And some chicken strips, and they're crispy. Yeah. I'm just gonna. Dinner time. I'm just gonna try it out. Mmm, yum. Mmm. What do you say to Dave? Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Dave is awesome. <laughs> they taste. They are crunchy, crunchy on the outside and juicy on the inside. And these um pastas are so good. They're so cheesy. I like them. Yeah, the mac and cheese, the pastas are out of this world, guys. You gotta try it out. Come to St. Lucia and come to the 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 Barracot Barracot Resort, and then you will just get this, and then you will see how good it tastes, guys. Person. Mm. Mm. You know, this is, this is tuna tata. Look at this mac and cheese. That is the best mac and cheese ever. <laughs> I get the best choice. Yeah, you did. Mm. Mm. Let me flip this around real quick. So you can see my. What is this you're eating? Spinach with octopus. Whoa. Spinach and octopus. It sounds so sexy, right? Octopus. Mmm. Scary. It looks like you are enjoying this. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. And Brooklyn. 
How how is how is your food? So good. Mm. So good. Mm-hmm. It's like these um chicken sets are like crispy on the outside and juicy in the inside. I have to admit, I tried your mac and cheese and it's out of this world. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mac and cheese is so good, guys. You gotta try it out. Nice. Well, mm. then you gotta come to the what? What, what, what resort is it? The Marigat. Marigat Beach and Spa Resort. Oh, yes. And Maria. And it's in St. Lucia. St. Lucia. Yes. Mm, yeah. Beautiful island, beautiful food, mm. beautiful uh, follow the rum. Mm. This is right here, just follow the rum. Yeah. This drink right here, let me, let me, let me come, come down on it. It's called follow the rum. Rim. This is awesome. Mine. Awesome. Mine. It, it hit me like, it hit me like... Uh, it's not bricks. It's not bricks. Right? <laughs> That's Mr. Gore right here.